All right, seeking wisdom from an old ginger. It was still a great story, by the way. Keep those aviation ones coming in. Um... Uh, dear Bill Burr, I am a 23-year-old male who feels lost and direct- directionless for my future. Hey, buddy, welcome to the party. You are not alone. Most people are 23, myself included. That's exactly where I felt. Probably the most lost because I was after college and I was just like, what did I major in? What the fuck am I doing? Um, anyway, I am currently working full-time and finishing my master's program part-time. However, for the longest time, I have felt a strong desire to pack up everything and move to a new area. I'm from upstate New York and have lived in the same zip code my whole life. I'm not sure where my desire to move came from. It has always been something I wanted to do. I don't want to ignore this feeling because I know I would look back and regret it if I never tried. Right now, my plan is to finish school, save what I can, and move to a different state once I graduate. However, I have recently told a couple of friends and my siblings this idea, and they all took a shit on it. Yeah, well, that's what people do. That's something that you're going to learn a lot. Like, hey, you know what I want to do? And, and, you know, especially if you tell it to somebody who's not doing anything, they're going to shit on it. Take a big fucking shit right on it. Uh, my friends have told me it doesn't seem like a good idea because I won't know anyone. Yeah, these are all fearful thoughts of people who are afraid to go anywhere. I have no family anywhere else and will be abandoning them. I have no real reason to move, but I've always wanted to live on my own in a new area while I still have the freedom to do so. This sounds like a great idea to me. I don't have anyone older than me to get outside an outside opinion on this, so I thought I would e- email an old bald dude for some, some advice. Well, you come to the right place. I would appreciate any advice or guidance on, the situ- on this situation. I think that's fucking great. And if that's what you feel like you want to do, you should do it. And there's a way to do both. Why don't you take a trip somewhere? You know, just you can literally get on a fucking train and pretty much go anywhere. And, you know, bring like a backpack. You can go real cheap. I don't know where you live. Where's the nearest big city? Do a little research of some things you want to go to. Here's one. If you're a sports fan, if you live outside Chicago, go in, go to a White Sox or a Cubs game. Live outside New York, just take the train, go to a game by yourself. Gives a fuck. Go get a sandwich, hail a cab. Just, you know, go down there and just see how it feels. And uh, I would kind of go from there. Um, Traveling is an unbelievable thing to do for you as a human being. It opens up, it opens up your mind. And I think it makes you a better person if, you're, if, you're mind, if your ears are open when you go there. I mean, if you travel like most New Yorkers do, like New York, people who live in New York City are the worst fucking travelers I've ever met in my life because they get upset everywhere they go that there aren't as many buildings and they can't get the exact same food that they have where they live, which is fucking hilarious because the, the, the whole purpose of traveling is different experiences. To, to experience something different. They're like, how come you ain't got a fucking slice of peach dude in my fucking neighborhood? Duh. They're the worst. They're like country people that live in the city. Exact same mentality is somebody who lives in, is, is, is somebody who lives in the middle. Of, um, I'm not saying you're an idiot if you stay where you're at. It's if you shit on somebody else because they want to leave, um, well, let me just talk to this kid here. When somebody shits on your idea, you just have to know that what they're saying has nothing to do with you. It has to do with what you're, how what you're doing makes them feel. So right there, you just cancel all of that. All right? Let me ask you this. If one of, somebody you knew said, hey, you know what? I always wanted to start a band or I always wanted to do this or I always wanted to go here, would you shit on it? If the answer is no then you're a good guy and you should get some better fucking friends. (laughs) You don't need to get better friends. Just, I remember a long time ago, Tom Papa, the great Tom Papa once told me, he said, you know, I realized in life, whenever I was making a big move, people's reaction to it had nothing to do with what I was doing. It had to do with them and where they were. And if they felt stuck, they, you know, you, you leaving makes them kind of feel like left behind, I think, or something. Who gives a fuck? All right? I say you do it. And I would, I would start, you know, as you're getting through your master's degree, which I relate to that because, you know, I had to work my way through college. 
and then pay off the loans and do all of that shit. So it took me forever to get through college. Um, I didn't, I didn't finish my, all my classes until I was 24 and a half. And then I, I walked when I was 25, but I was out in December of 92. And then I just went through the formality in, in June. So you're ahead of the game when it comes to that shit, but like, you're still really, really, really young. And, uh, a great way to find where you want to go is to take a couple of small trips, you know, and check it out. And it, you know, you could end up being like, you know what, maybe I'll just stay where I'm at and I'll just, I'll travel more. Or you could be like, you know what, there's just something about this city that I connect with. For as much as I shit on New York city, I really connected with that city. And then somewhere in the two thousands, I connected more with LA. And, um, now I keep having a reoccurring fantasy of living in the middle of nowhere, sitting on a porch, drinking coffee, smoking cigars, reading a newspaper, and having a little bit of whiskey, and just not doing anything. And uh, but I have kids, so you know, I'm not lo- I'm locked down. <laughs> so you're 23. You got your whole life ahead of you. This is the one of the best times in your life. They're all great times in your life if you know how to live, though. Um, if you are enjoying them, you know, if a four wheel doesn't four wheeler doesn't backfire in your fucking ear, but you know what? My ear's kind of gone down. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't fuck it up. Whatever. Just something you deal with. Right. Um, anyway, that's it. Everybody enjoy the podcast. Um, uh, don't listen to your friends if they shit on your dreams. All right, that's it. Go fuck yourselves. And I'll talk to you on Thursday. <laughs>